Hi, everyone. Thank you, Brady, and thanks to everyone at O'Reilly for inviting us to participate. My name is Tyler Malin. I'm CEO of Social Animal. Um, we're an emerging technology uh, uh, laboratory, creative agency, and production studio from, um, from Los Angeles. Um, I'm here to talk about 360 video um, and its applications for virtual tourism. Um, so we became interested in 360-degree video um, because of a creative challenge from a client. Um, we were tasked with creating a, a music video that emerged the viewer in, in the landscape of a 1920s jazz club. Um, our creative team went away, and we became convinced that 360 video would be an amazing interactive way to, uh, to engage the audience. Um, what we learned was that in order to satisfy a Grammy award-winning artist and a major record label, we'd have to create that interactive experience, but we'd also have to create a, a standard uh, video that would allow for broadcast quality. Um, so we looked around and, and we decided whether we would build or whether we would buy. Our, our preference would have been to buy, um, but existing systems didn't, uh, didn't allow us to, to, to live up to that, that need of broadcast quality. Um, single camera systems produce warping and distortion. These use wide angle lenses to, to achieve uh, the panorama. Um, outward facing 360 systems uh, give us problems with parallax. We were getting gapping and, and, uh, and also artifacting warp and distortion. Um, so finding no commercially available uh, solution, we built, built this thing, which is uh, the SA9. Um, and uh, this was, we finished it 9909. Um, this system is a 2K system, um, so we're getting the image quality we need to pull traditional content uh, for broadcast. Uh, we're also uh, shooting up into mirrors, which uh, essentially does away with a lot of the parallaxing issues that we were dealing with. Um, so what we did was we took the content then and, and we put it into two, two ways for it to, to be viewed. First was uh, we built an interactive flash player that allows the user to drive the experience with the content um, and really create a personal experience with video content in a new way. Um, we also are able to distribute, because we're, we're shooting at 2K in traditional formats, so we can shoot a music video, deliver for MTV, we can deliver for traditional online formats like YouTube. We can also have this interactive version for, uh, for online distribution. Um, so here's a look at some of the things that we've shot. Again, we finished 9909. Um, I'm showing everything. <laughs> I'm not showing the work. Great. Um, how? Uh, how would I change this view? <laughs> okay. So I'll walk through the projects really quickly because we're running out of time. It, it's not showing up there. Uh, we shot a music video for Macy Gray, who's a client who had the initial creative proposition for us. Um, we shot that at the Green Door in, in Hollywood. Um, and uh, we've used it to shoot one other music video, which is from a band called Amusement Parks on Fire. Um, <laughs> you have to stop by the Warefare, and we'll show, show you these videos if they're not showing on the screen right now. Um, we also used it to capture a live, in, a live environment for, for a Cyan campaign that was recently released. Um, this was a, a video that we shot at uh, the Roxy uh, on the Sunset Strip in Hollywood. Um, the idea there was uh, to create a campaign for um, the new release series for Cyan that would fully emerge the consumer in an environment at, in a Cyan event. Um, and we were able to do, to do that with the camera system. Um, and, and finally, <laughs> Well, let's talk about mapping. <laughs> we'll get up by mapping. So we took, a, we took an opportunity to think back about why we got interested in 360-degree technology. And, uh, and really, a lot of our inspiration came from um, you know, our experiences in mapping. And what we thought, since we've built, we've built this system now, um, you know, we have this image quality. We're able to, to, to use an interactive environment to display it. Wouldn't it be powerful to go back to this idea of mapping? And we were ni it was nice enough to be invited to, uh, to wear. So last week, we, we strapped the camera system to a Volvo and took it for a drive in our neighborhood. Um, we wanted to show you a little bit of, about that. So what we're, we're really imagining here is mapping high-profile locations and presenting it, an interactive experience um, with those locations. Um, so this could be an experience driving through a neighborhood in Los Angeles. Um, you can see the action happening all around the, all around the street, um, able to focus wherever you're, you're taking interest in, um, seeing what houses look like, potentially seeing where the local fruit guy hangs out in the corner there. Um, we imagine taking uh, layers of interactive content through motion tracking and hotspotting um, and adding 
information to these virtual experiences, such as house prices. Um, in urban areas, it would give you the experience to, to really see what it's like to be on the main drag of another city in another country, potentially. Um, overlay uh, information from Yelp to see reviews. Um, really, this interactive experience, we believe, is powerful um, because it, it brings a sense of exploration back to mapping, um, which we think is great. So the user really decides what they're interested in looking at. Um, they can engage with any number of, uh, of, of APIs and other information that we can pull in through this dynamic hot spotting and, and motion tracking in the video. Um, so that could be a great experience of, of, of Beverly Drive here in Los Angeles that could help people find the restaurants, or potentially they could find the home of a, a small creative agency with, with big ideas that could help them on their next interactive campaign. This is our building, and what we mapped was essentially my drive in 360 touch video. Um, we'll have a live demo at Warefair uh, this afternoon, and we invite um, you know, everybody to come by and see the system. We'll have it functioning and, and working and recording. Um, we know that you know, the, the best ideas that will be shot with this camera probably won't come from us. They'll come from our collaborators. Um, and we really look forward to talking to all of you about ways we might be able to work together. Thanks.